What is going on, buddy? Welcome back to another video. So a new firmware update dropped while I was up in Idaho for the Mavic Air 2S. And in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and cover the changes. Stick around. So this update dropped on July 27th, was right around a week ago, it's about 200 megabytes, so it's a fairly large update. You'll want to make sure that you have a solid Wi-Fi connection or a data connection so you don't have any hiccups during the update. Now with this one, this essentially brings us to version 02.04.20.40 uh, and also gives us DJI Fly 1.4.8 on both iOS and Android devices. So this one doesn't add a ton of new features, but more so of the quality of life stuff that we're looking for in these drones. At any point during this video, if you find it useful, you get something out of it, whatever, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Not only does that help us grow our channel, but also helps me determine if these videos are useful for you guys. So first and foremost, we're seeing a something that we saw on the Mini 2. They've added a trim download to the DJI Fly app for the Air 2S. This allows you to uh, choose to trim a piece of footage if you want to download it directly from the drone, you no longer have to download that full clip. You can go in, choose the trim download, choose the section that you want to trim and download, and then uh, send that over to your phone. This is great if you're trying to access any footage very quickly. Now, the second thing that they've done is they've added the, uh, H the synchronization of HD photos. So before this update, if you took some nice photos, they would not automatically sync over to the DJI Fly app. You either had to plug in the drone, pull the memory card out, or download those directly while the drone is connected in order to get those photos. Now they will passively synchronize over to your DJI Fly app. So the biggest and probably most notable change with this update is the auto discharge change that it made to the batteries. They will now enter auto discharge after nine days instead of five days. I personally thought five days was probably a little too soon for them to start discharging. However, I do know with LiPo batteries, uh, the faster that they can discharge, the better it is for their lifespan. So we'll kind of see as time goes on what effects this had from going from five to nine. Now, of course, that being said, this is firmware updates for the battery, so you'll want to make sure that you update each one of your battery's firmware too. There are a few people that are having some issues with the uh, update actually completing. If that's the case, I would disconnect everything, reconnect everything, and try to just do your basic troubleshooting steps. Maybe even reboot the phone, reboot the drone. You'll want to, again, make sure that you have a solid data connection, and then, of course, at least 40% on your drone battery in order to perform the update. Now. If you're still having issues, of course, reach out. Always reach out in the comments if you guys are having those issues. But what I like to do when I update firmware is I'll either delete the cache from the DJI Fly app or I will actually go in, remove the application completely and reinstall it just to make sure that everything is fresh and good to go. So again, if you're still having issues after that, reach out in the comments. I'll answer those as soon as I can. But as of right now, everything seems to be good. I've flown about two and a half batteries so far. I haven't seen any weird issues. That being said, that's all I have for you guys for this video. Simple update, easy to do, nothing crazy. Again, reach out if you're having some issues. If something does come up, I'll either leave a pinned comment on this video or post a completely new video if there's something serious that arises. So in any case, that's all I have for you guys today. Happy flying and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>